Hello, everybody. Welcome to my RTK playlist, where I document what I have learned in setting up an RTK or real-time kinematic space station, which allows us to get centimeter or quarter inch precision GPS locations, which compares to around 10 feet or two and a half meters for uncorrected GPS. So it's an accuracy improvement of more than 100 times. And the best part is we can achieve all that with relatively cheap hardware. So for example, Right here is a receiver module, which you can get for around $130. You also need a antenna for your base station, which is another $60 to $80. And then if you also want to build your rover, you need to buy the same hardware again, but you can get away with a little bit of a cheaper module as well as somewhat cheaper antenna. By the end of the playlist, I also hope to show you how you can use the data from your base station and send it to a correction data provider which will make this data available globally. And you actually can receive cryptocurrency in exchange for your correction data. So essentially you can turn your base station into a cryptocurrency miner. So what is uh, real-time kinematics? Well, it is a way to correct the signal which travels from your satellite to your rover or the device for which you want to determine the location. But since the atmosphere can delay those signals, the accuracy of the location of your receiver down here is degraded. But if you have a base station, which you can assume is not moving and it sees the same disturbance than your moving object, then you can send correction data from your stationary object to your moving object and you can make corrections and you can get down to centimeter or again, quarter inch accuracy, which is really quite amazing. So this obviously is a very simplified version of how it works. If you are interested in a more detailed explanation, I suggest you check out the video by Andreas Spice, aka the guy with the Swiss accent. A link will be in the video description. So a shout out from the guy with the German accent to the guy with the Swiss accent. And, and really this is the video which actually inspired me to embark on my own uh, adventure here. So what I'm hoping to achieve in this series is step-by-step -step instructions on how you can set things up and hopefully uh, this will save uh, some people some time. So here is the hardware I have bought. I have bought two uh, GPS module. One is a single antenna module, which I will be use for the base station. Comes very nice packaged here with a little certificate and all the necessary antenna connections. And a second module, which is a dual antenna module. So it comes with two of those pigtails here, which will be used for the rover. And the dual antenna has the advantage that you not only can locate where your rover is, but also uh, the orientation. And I have the RTK antenna, which the cable here, which goes outside of my window here just for testing. And then um, later on, we will use an ESP32 to connect the uh, GPS hardware to the internet using the uh, Wi-Fi capability of the ESP. And I also have some uh, small Wi-Fi antennas here. So here is the website of the manufacturer. I got the modules from. Again, a link will be in the description. They offer a couple of different modules. The most expensive one here is the UM982, which is a dual antenna version, which allows you not only to determine the position, but also the heading of your rover. They also have a single antenna version here, which I suggest is the one you use for your base station because for the base station, you simply don't need two antennas and it also has lower power consumption. So especially if you put it into a small housing, you don't have to worry about getting rid of excess heat. And it also saves you a couple of dollars. And then lastly, they have a budget version, which is another single antenna version, which is the cheapest version, but it does not allow you to do precise point correction, which is another correction method where you actually do not rely on a base station and it does not allow you to calculate new positions as fast as the other two models. So depending on what you need, this version here is typically available for around $80, while the other versions are on the order of $120 or so. So depending on what your needs are, you can choose the right version here. So all three of those modules can be bought on nice development boards on AliExpress. So for example, here, 
is a nice one, which is the dual antenna version. Actually, they just reduced the price. I think I paid around 130. It's now $105. They have the uh, single antenna version and here the more budget friendly version. And they also have a couple of options of antennas. Actually, it came as a surprise to me when I bought this antenna. I didn't really expect it to come with the base, but it came with the mounting base as well, which was a nice surprise. So what I'm hoping to show in this playlist is first how you can set up your base station using software, which is actually provided by the manufacturer of the module, where you can see your satellite constellation and also actually stream the correction data to an NTRIP server, for example, rtk to go which allows you to stream your data and then anybody in the world has access to this data and can use it to do corrections. So for example, here is my base station, which is online right now. I can click here on Google map and you can see uh, here my base station on the top of my garage. And then everybody within a radius of around 20 kilometers or so uh, can use this data to get those centimeter precision GPS locations. Uh, I also will show how you can use an ESP32 microcontroller to actually make the system independent of your PC. So it can really run on a very minimal power budget for extended periods of time. It doesn't use your computer. And then I will show how you can set up an account with Onokoi, which is a decentralized physical infrastructure project to set up those base stations in exchange for cryptocurrency. And ultimately, of course, I will also demonstrate how you then can access those correction data and again use one of the new precise hardware modules and their software to build a rover which then you then can locate with fractions of an inch provided that you have the correction data from your base station all right so if that sounds interesting to you then i suggest you give it a like and also subscribe and stay tuned for more videos goodbye